Clan Yun traces its origins back to the ancient Gaelic traditions that permeated the rugged Scottish landscapes. The name Yuan itself derives from the Gaelic Ughain, meaning born of the yew tree. This deep-rooted connection to nature speaks of the clan's reverence for the natural world and their ancestral ties to the land. One of the notable branches of Clan Yuan is Clan Yuan of Otter. Flourishing during the 14th and 15th centuries, Clan Yuan of Otter held sway over their lands in Argyll, particularly on the shores of Loch Fyne. Their influence extended beyond their territories, as they navigated the intricate political landscape of medieval Scotland. The tale of Clan Ewan of Otter reaches a poignant turning point with the passing of Sween McEwan, the last recognized chief, in 1493. With his demise, the clan faced a decline, and their lands eventually passed into the hands of the Campbell overlords. This marked the beginning of a new era for Clan Ewan, as they grappled with the absence of a recognized leadership structure. Beyond Clan Ewan of Otter, McEwan clansmen also emerged in Galloway, showcasing the clan's far-reaching influence. Figures like Patrick McEwan, who served as the provost of Wigtown in 1331, further cemented the presence of McEwans in this region. Their allegiance to the clan and their contributions to the local community bolstered Clan Ewan's legacy. An intriguing connection between Clan Ewan and Clan MacDougall emerges through their shared ancestral ties. Many McEwans proudly claim descent from Ewan Moore MacDougall, brother of the MacDougall of Lorn. This affiliation resulted in McEwans in Perthshire and Lochte being considered a part of Clan MacDougall, adding a layer of complexity to Clan Ewan's historical tapestry. Clan Ewan's cultural impact extends beyond their political and territorial pursuits. The clan nurtured a deep appreciation for the arts, particularly in the field of bardic poetry. The McEwan Bardic family, renowned for their poetic prowess, served noble clans like the MacDougalls of Lorne and the Campbells of Argyll. Their contributions enriched Scotland's cultural landscape, highlighting the clan's intellectual legacy. Though Clan Ewan no longer has a recognized chief, the flame of their heritage continues to burn brightly. Today, Various clan societies and organizations work diligently to preserve and celebrate the legacy of Clan Ewan. These groups undertake genealogical research, organize cultural events, and foster connections among clan members, ensuring that the spirit of Clan Ewan remains alive in the hearts of its descendants.